Welcome back, folks. Uh, we have a storm moving in tomorrow morning. It's supposed to last all day. And we're supposed to, it's supposed to warm up, but we're supposed to get what, like 50 mile an hour gusts. So today, I prepared for the storm. We have just seem to have them back to back lately. But I've got my wood. I've hauled my water. I've hauled my grain. I've hauled my hay. I've, I've done a lot of things. And right now the day is winding down before I start my regular evening chores. So if you are new to this channel, you're going to see me dressing like this an awful lot. Uh, I'm not going to waste too many clothes uh, doing outside chores. You know, I know I've got sawdust on my hat. You'll see me wearing one of three sweatshirts. I always have my vest on when it's cold out and one or two or three different types of hats. I'm just not going to ruin clothes here. So behind me is the view that I see every day. And it's a beautiful view. The sun rises in the east over there so I get the morning sun. And I have beautiful big windows in my in my house that lets in a lot of heat when it's sunny and a lot of light during the day. I try to get most of what I can inside done during the day because I don't have very good lighting. I don't have electric. I don't have any DC lighting at all. I just rely on a oil lamp. So everything's got to be done at the height of day when it's when it's the lightest inside the house. That is that is sweeping, that is dishes, that's you name it, you name it. It's all got to be done inside the house during daylight hours. So today I reset the game cameras. There has been a fox around and it's a sly fox too. Let me tell you, it is so smart. It's very skittish, but it's, it goes around you know, I'm sure it's eaten all kinds of mice. I do live in the woods and I do live next to the bog. So there's, there's, there's mice here. I do not have mice in my house. I do not have mice underneath that I'm aware of. I haven't seen any evidence of mice inside or under my, my place. Make YouTube videos. Why not? Why not? I am not electronically inclined whatsoever. It is the language all itself when you're when you're learning YouTube, when you're learning videos, when you're learning all of this stuff. The language is completely foreign to me. I don't get it. I just don't understand it. So when I'm reading, I'm taking notes and I have to research words like impressions. Uh, click through, reach. I have to, I just don't understand, I don't understand any of those terms. So I have a little notebook that I, that I write down the, the word and the meaning. My YouTube videos, they're nothing but having fun. I have a lot of questions that are asked about how I do certain things, why I do certain things. And Instead of sitting down with my very poor eyes at the end of the day with an oil lamp, um, it's just easier to jump in front of the the cell on a tripod, which I've I found my tripod like a week ago. It's been stored away, but it's so much easier just to get on and just yak. Now. I speak English. I don't speak good English. I don't speak proper English. I am not politically correct. I do swear. Um, I jumble my words. I talk backwards. I don't care. 
I am educated. Believe it or not, I am educated. I might not look educated. I might not sound educated. But I am educated, and I can speak proper when I want to. In the woods here, who cares? Who cares? I just, the meaning is out there. The words are out there. The, what, um, the content is out there. What I want to convey is out there, whether it's tripping over my words, stammering through my words. It really doesn't matter to me. Um, if you're a scholar and you're an English scholar and you're having a problem with the way I talk, the way I use pretenses and past tenses and all of that, you're either going to have to deal with it or stop watching because I am not going to, it's just me, I'm not going to pussyfoot around to save somebody else's feelings. I'm just not going to do that. Now, I'm going to be polite, but if I'm not bashful, if you say something that I do not like or I don't think is appropriate, I am going to tell you. That's just me. That's just me and, and all my wonderful glory, I guess. So just be patient. I don't know what I'm doing. I am learning as I go. There's a lot of videos that a lot of people want to see. I just don't know how to make them. There is a time factor here. Like I said, I've spent all day getting ready for the storm. I. This is my outdoor gear. That's just that's just my outdoor gear. And it does, you know, all the layers. It looks like I'm about this big, but I'm a big girl, but I'm I'm in pretty good shape, but I I'm not as big as I look here. It doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter anyway. So there is a bread making video. Now there's a couple of ladies that asked for the recipe and how to do it. And that is cooking pan bread on top of the wood stove, no oven needed. Um, I have to do that right in the middle of the day when my day is busiest. That's when the lighting is best. Now in the corner where I have my wood stove, the lighting is not by any window, so the lighting is very poor. But I did make uh, a batch of pan bread yesterday. It was just too cold to be outside any longer. I had to come in and warm up. So I came in and made bread. Found the lighting to be poor for filming. So I did take pictures and I will put them in a slide with maybe a, a voiceover if I can figure that out. So that's coming up. Uh, in the spring, I'm going to be making videos on how to prepare your garden starting seeds, um, how to make soil, and the progress of my garden, you know, throughout the summer. And then harvesting the garden and processing a year's worth of food. Now, I also have my birds that I process for meat, and that also happens in the fall with everything else. So I'll be... I'll be going through all that with some videos. A lot of people, a lot of people want foraging videos and they've been asking me for like seven years. I stopped teaching that course many, many, many years ago, but I, I'm going to start getting back into that when things slow down just a little bit and during foraging season, I will, I will go through some how to find it, where to look for, what to look for, what you can eat, what stages you can eat, what will kill you, what will make you healthy. So I'll be going and how to prepare it. I'll go through all of that. So you can look forward to that in the, the probably late spring, summer. And there was talk today of firewood for next year. So last year, I think we got 18 cord in, and that's with an 80-year-old man, a 55-year-old me, 
and a 57-year-old sister, the three of us got, I think it was 18 cord of wood in. And of course, we split it up between the, the three houses. That's a lot of work. So there's a lot of videos I'm going to be making. If you want to know more, if you want me to make a video on a certain topic, just let me know in the video below. And sometimes I'm going to be serious. Sometimes I'm going to be just as goofy as can be. And sometimes I'm, I'm just going to record at night because that's the only time I have. And the lighting is going to be awful. And I'll, I'll do my best. But I am going to look tired. I'm going to sound tired. And so just bear with me, folks. It's a busy lifestyle. And I can do only so much. And creating a YouTube video is not high on my priority list. It is for fun. It's for education. I'm not going to monetize. I can't see myself doing that. I just, maybe down the road, it, but this is not why this is being started. It is not why I am doing it. I just, I just don't have time. I just don't have time. But anyway, I am going to step out of the way and I am going to close with the beautiful view I have. It's getting towards sunset.